Okay, I got you guys a little bit of help here on the linear equations golf. I had a few people say they don't understand what to do. <clears throat> so let me show you. On the first ball, it says, the instructions say the golf, car, golf cup is located at point negative 2 comma 2. Here's the cup right here. Find the equation that will knock each ball into the T. Okay, if I start with ball number 1, I have to hit the ball so that it knocks into the cup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line. And I think my y-intercept is negative 3. But I definitely want to double check. We're going to put these equations in slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b. I need my slope. Well, there's two things I can do. I can either do rise over run. In this case, I went down 1, 2, 3 and I went over 1. So I think my slope is negative 3 over 1. Let's double check that with the slope formula. I need two points off the line. This ball here is sitting at negative 3 comma 5. Negative 3 comma 5. And the cup is sitting at negative 2 comma 2. Uh, x1, y1. X2, Y2. I'm going to use my slope formula. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. I'm going to plug in my numbers. 2 subtract 5 over negative 2 subtract negative 3. Down here, I would add a line and change the sign. And my slope turns out to be negative 3 over positive 1 which is the same as negative 3. Yep, that's what I got up here. So <coughs> my slope is negative 3. So up here in my equation, I'm going to change my m to negative 3. y equals negative 3x plus b. Now I need my y-intercept. I think my y-intercept's here at negative 3, but I'm just going to double check it. I'm going to pick one of these points. I think I'll pick this point right here. I have an x and a y. I'm going to plug those in here. For my y, I'm going to plug in 2. For my x, I'm going to plug in negative 2. And I'm going to solve for b. Uh, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. 2 equals negative 6 plus b. Uh, if I, let's see, did I do that right? Let's see, I put in an x of negative, oh, my slope is negative 3. That's the problem. That's a negative, so that's going to be positive. All right, sorry about that. My slope is negative 3x. Uh, so if I want to solve for b, I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. If I subtract 6 here, then I need to subtract 6 here. And it looks like my y-intercept, in fact, is negative 4. You know what? Since this I, you know, it just might be the difference in drawing this line. I'm going to double check using this point. Let me substitute in this number here. y equals negative 3x plus b. My y is 5. My x is negative 3 plus b. So 5 equals negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 plus b. If I subtract both, uh, 9 from both sides, I get b equals negative 4. So it definitely looks, in fact, that my y-intercept is going to be negative 4. There's the equation for the line. So down here, I'm going to write y equals negative 3x subtract 4. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to try to redraw this line to see if it's just the problem in the way I drew the line. And in fact, it probably is. So the equation for golf ball number one is y equals negative 3x minus 4. You're going to do the same thing for all the other golf balls. Don't trust your lines. You need to double check with your equation because your y-intercepts might not be dead on, just like I showed you mine wasn't. I'm thinking for number 8, my y-intercept 0. Definitely double check it with your math. All right, on the back side, 
back side, whoops, there we go. Back side says use the slope and y intercept to graph each equation. The graph, if extended, will cross a letter. Print the letter, print the letter in each box that contains the number of that exercise. So they want you to graph y equals 2 thirds x plus 1. I know that's my y-intercept. I'm going to graph my y-intercept first. My 2 thirds is my slope. 2 thirds means I have a rise of 2 and a run of 3. So from this point, I'm going to rise up 2 and I'm going to here, rise up 1, 2, run 3. 1, 2, 3. Or I could go negative 2 over negative 3, down 2, backwards 3. There's my line. I'm going to get a ruler draw a line through them, and the letter that goes in the box is O. All right, that's how you do both of those worksheets. Good luck with that. See you all in class.